In this session, I want to show you how to use speech to text technology. I recommend eventually buying Dragon Naturally Speaking because of the better features. But for a quick and dirty free tool, you can use Google's Speech Notes application, which you can get for free in the Google Play Store, or you can go to https colon forward slash forward slash speechnotes.co. I have used this as a quick way to dictate letters. I have been given over 700 letters written between my paternal grandparents, Woodrow and Vera Bonner. Woodrow was in service in World War II from March 1945 through September of 1946. He first went to the Philippines and then eventually was in Japan in the occupation forces. I will demonstrate how to use this tool using one of their letters. Now the tool that I'm using is the desktop version at speechnotes.co and you will notice that up here there's a microphone. Right now the microphone is actually off but I'm going to turn that on here in just a second. And as I, when I turn it on and as I talk you'll see words starting to appear over in this section here. Now when I want to say a period or a comma or a question mark, I just say those words in order to have it inserted over here. So as you can see, this is pretty basic for the different types of grammatical things that you may want to use or punctuation that you may want to use, uh, but you'll see just how easy this is. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click on the microphone and actually start dictating a letter that was written from my grandfather in 1946 to my grandmother. So here goes. At last, I'm writing you another letter, period. I'm back in the company again, period. Was released from the hospital yesterday, but I can't walk much on my leg yet, period. Darling, I would have written you more while I was in the hospital, but I didn't have any stamps or anything, period. I got nine letters yesterday from you and one each from Noit and Tiwo. Now as you can see here, I turned the microphone off so that it will not record what I'm saying right now. But in this letter, for instance, there are a couple of names that no matter what I do, speech notes is not going to recognize it. Noit was a shortened version of Lenoit who was my grandfather's sister, and also Tiwo was a nickname for Otira. So as you can see, Speech Notes does not recognize those names, so I have to go back and do editing on those. But as you can see, for the most part, it captures everything just as I say it. Now, if I'm ready for this to be saved, I can come over here to this little icon and click on the Word document and actually save this as a Word document on my desktop. So that's how easy it is to use speech notes. I guarantee that once you get comfortable doing this, it'll be very easy to transition into Dragon Naturally Speaking. I'll talk to you soon on another video. Thanks a lot.